Winter has arrived, arguably the most magical time of the year. And in this video, I'm going to share with you 10 photography ideas that you can do this season. Capturing snow on trees can bring so much magic into your winter photography. We've all seen Christmas cards and Christmas movies with snow covered trees and especially trees like pine trees where you've got the lovely snow covering all the pines and the needles within the canopy. It can make for some beautiful images. But equally, just capturing the snow like here on the bark can bring new life into your woodland photography and add a lot of interest to your winter images. A really interesting thing to shoot at this time of year is frozen puddles. Capturing frozen puddles can give you some really interesting abstract shots. I spent a lot of time doing this last year and I was blown away with the amount of different textures and patterns that I found within the ice. If you grab yourself a telephoto lens and zoom into these, it's amazing what sort of images you can create. A macro lens will also allow you to get some really interesting images and capture some of the frozen bubbles and other textures and patterns within the ice. It's a type of photography that I'd encourage many people to do because you never know what images are going to come away with and the results can be really interesting. Now we're all familiar with the frost that covers our windscreens in the morning throughout the winter months, but how many of you have been out to capture the beautiful phenomenon that is hoar frost? Now this frost is truly beautiful. It appears like crystal-like structures amongst the landscape. And one of the most beautiful things you can capture with this type of frost on it is trees. It creates this beautiful feathered appearance on the trees that you've got these tiny crystallized icicles appearing pretty much on every inch of the tree itself. This often only occurs when you get really cold still nights and this allows these tiny crystallized bits of frost to accumulate on objects. And going out early in the morning when you know there's a chance of hoarfrost appearing can result in some beautiful and very magical images. So if you've got a very cold still night forecast at minus temperatures, make sure you get up early and look at the trees and the fences and the grasses around you. And you may just see some of this beautiful hoarfrost and come away with some of the most magical images you've ever captured. Now, to get those crisp and clean winter shots, you really want to head out when the snow has just fallen and you've got that lovely blanket of white snow on the landscape before anybody has had a chance to walk through it or cars have had a chance to drive through it. To get these images, you can do one of two things. The first of which is to look at the weather forecast and determine when the snow is likely to happen. And then you ensure that you're on location before the snow starts so that you're actually there when the snow is freshly laid and before anybody else has a chance to get to that spot. Secondly, another good thing you can do is get up bright and early and head out first thing in the morning. Again, before most people are out and about to increase your chances of getting that beautiful white blanket of snow without any disruption. Those are the images that you see, the sort of stereotypical landscape shots with the beautiful puffy snow all throughout the landscape. And it's one of those iconic shots that I think everybody wants to get. So that's just a few tips there on how you can potentially achieve that. And it's a great thing to have in your portfolio. <laughs> Now I think we're all familiar with capturing those beautiful white snowy vistas after a snow shower but how many of you have actually gone out during the snow shower itself and captured images? Now this is one of the most magical times to go out with your camera. At that time when the snow is falling, generally speaking if you've got that lovely fluffy snow, it could be very calm, still and serene. The falling snow also allows for some lovely segregation to appear within the landscape. Images that you often wouldn't be able to capture during a nice clear sunny day because there's too much going on in the scene 
can become beautiful masterpieces. An example of this is if you have a lone building or tree within a field and you've got pylons or wind turbines in the distance. That falling snow often allows for those wind turbines and pylons to no longer appear in the frame because they're diffused out with the falling snow and you've got that lovely segregation in the landscape that really allows that tree or that building to stand out in your frame. Photographing during falling snow can allow you to capture beautiful fine art images. It totally transforms scenes and it's I think one of the most exciting times to go out in the winter and actually do photography. We all love the fluffy snow that falls, that we can build snowmen out of and that covers the landscape with a beautiful blanket of white. But there's another type of snow that often comes in less than favourable weather conditions, such as when it's stormy or when it's really, really cold. And often this results in this very fine snow that is easily blown around in the wind. Now this isn't always the best snow to go out in, you can't really do much with it and you've not got that nice fluffy effect in the landscape. But one thing this snow can be good for is if you do have a storm and you end up with the snow building up and piling up beside roads and verges and pathways, you can end up with this beautiful effect that almost looks like a sand dune made out of snow. And I experienced this last year during a storm that we had in my area. And during that storm, we ended up with all of this fine snow blowing over the roads, which wasn't great because we got snowed in. But I went out once the wind had died down a little bit and within that snow there was these beautiful textures and shapes and patterns and it almost looked like a sand dune and we had these lovely lines and wavy bits within the snow that allowed me to capture some really nice fine art and abstract images. So I wanted to include this in this video of ideas of things to shoot because even though winter doesn't always turn out as the beautiful, magical, fluffy winter that we all visualise and want for our photography, there are opportunities in these stormier weather conditions and with the less favourable snow. And these images will just give you a little bit of an idea of what you can create in those sort of environments and how going out in these conditions can result in some really interesting images. Now we don't always get snow in the winter, but one thing you're pretty much guaranteed to get at some point in the season is frost. And if you can utilise frost within your photographs, you can open your eyes up to so many new photographic opportunities. One exciting thing to photograph with frost on it is fallen leaves from the autumn months. You can often find these within the woodland floors themselves, but sometimes within towns and cities you can find them around pavements, parks and gardens. And if you can capture these with the lovely sprinkling of iced frost on the top of them, you can come away with some really interesting images. This of course is allowing you to step back from your grand vistas and look more at the smaller aspects of the landscape and really allow you to open your eyes up to several different photographic opportunities. So if you're struggling with those grand vista shots this winter, why not look at the smaller details and capture that frost on a lovely frosty morning? Now winter isn't all about the snow and ice itself, it's also about the foreboding, dark, dramatic skies. Hail, sleet and snow showers can result in some very dramatic dark clouds coming from all around you. And once those clouds have passed, you can often get this beautiful blue skies like we've got behind us just now and the colours can just be exquisite. If you can couple these dark, foreboding, dramatic skies with your landscape shots, it will bring so much more atmosphere into your images and make for much more captivating shots. After the snowfall comes the big thaw. So if you've missed the best of the snow, do not feel disheartened because this can be a beautiful thing to capture as well. You have all these lovely water droplets coming down throughout the canopy or anything really that has been covered by the snow. And you get these lovely water droplets on things like twigs and leaves. 
If you're out early in the morning, these may be frozen and you'll get lovely icicle type shots. But right now, in the middle of the day, we've got these lovely raindrops coming through. And that coupled with the beautiful winter light can make for some beautiful images. And it really allows you to look more at the more intimate and smaller aspects of nature, which can open up a whole different variety of photographic opportunities. Before I sign off, here's a few extra ideas of things that you may want to consider photographing this winter. After the snow has fallen, why not head out and see where it's laid? You may be able to find some really interesting abstract style shots, particularly if photographing around rocky areas such as those featured in this video here. If it's been really cold, you may be lucky enough to head out and find some icicles. These can be really exciting and interesting to both see and photograph, particularly if you're around moving water like rivers or small streams. And lastly, if you have the patience and a hide to shelter in, why not head out and do a spot of wildlife photography? Photographing this squirrel enjoying the snow in the Cairngorms is one of the most memorable wildlife photography experiences I have ever had. So there we have it. Winter truly is a magical time of year and the photographic opportunities are endless. So head out there and embrace the winter weather. Of course, the winter can be quite dangerous though. So before you head out, make sure you wrap up warm and are prepared but get out and enjoy it because you will not regret it. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time. Mm -hmm.